Hey guys, it's Goldstein here, and today I'm going to show you how Arabs have been packing Arabs into filthy concentration camps since the 1950s with UN-sponsored money and global aid money. Check it out. Prime example of the horrible conditions, the ever increasingly terrible pain of these Arabs living here. Well, we got a Maybach and then you got this GLE 350, then you got this Mercedes passing. I mean, it's a joke. And these are white and green license plates that identifies that they are under the Palestinian Authority. And I'm right next to Bethlehem, the place where they claim there are concentration camps. These are the only people in the world who still keep their own people in concentration camps just to raise more money through the UN. And by that I mean what they call refugee camps. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the propaganda. I was shown around by British-born Palestinian Nancy Lansour. In 1935, her great-grandfather was shot in the head by Jewish settlers when they seized his home. She took me through the dense maze of warehoused refugees. So um, this is, yeah, these are basically streets, right? Yeah. So you know when they came here in 1951, uh, they came and they got tents, and it was, they rented this land, or the UN rented this land for them from the people that live in the city of Nablus. And so uh, a couple of years later, the UN come and give them two stone houses per family. And so as you can see, it just gets more and more dense and overpopulated. And I think actually the, the the exact number is 28,000 refugees. So this is the biggest refugee camp, and it's literally one kilometer by one kilometer. Now how you can be a refugee of a state that never existed, I don't know. But they have figured it out, they have mastered it, and then they have packaged it and turned it in to the greatest scam in business. It's genius. More than 2.2 million Palestinians are refugees in their own country, blocked in violation of international law, from returning to the land they live just miles away from, packed into camps. Let's hear that one again. Packed into camps. These camps experience the highest rates of poverty and unemployment. So when she says packed into camps. Packed into camps. What she's really referring to is, Arabs have been packing their own people into camps with UN-sponsored money. For example, in Aida, in, in Aida case, there was, uh, the camp was established in 1950. This is a photo for uh, the Haitian refugee camps out of Bethlehem in 1950. Uh, this, uh, this camp has started in 1950 under the supervision of UNRWA. Understand, that means these Arabs have been putting their own people inside of filthy concentration camps since the 1950s. They have been propagating that even after the Oslo Accords when they took full control over the area you're seeing right now. There's not one Jew left inside, it's Judenrein. And the Palestinian Authority, and I use that term very loosely, controls over 40% of all of the land in Judea and Samaria, and they've received over $60 billion in funding since the disaster of Oslo itself. This is a criminal act that the leaders of the PLO should be held accountable for in the International Criminal Court today. Here, let's all go into Bethlehem where there is an actual refugee camp where they claim that their people live in squalor and in terrible conditions. Let's watch as these two very expensive Mercedes that cost at least double here just, you know, mosey on in. But wait, there's more propaganda. Today the camp houses over 5,500 refugees, mostly from Jerusalem and Hebron. <laughs> Jerusalem and Hebron are as Arabic as is the word Palestine. Who are packed into an area less than 0 .04 square miles. <laughs> what a load of crap. There's a luxury mall right next to what they call the Haitia refugee camp. Where you can walk in and buy Kentucky Fried Chicken, designer clothes. Bethlehem Mall. We have the KFC, chicken. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Morning. We are here for some good chicken. But weren't we all just told that there's an Auschwitz in every Palestinian town? Every city in Palestine, from Rafah to Jenin, there's Auschwitz 
إسرائيلي لذبح الفلسطينيين. Then you can walk over to the car dealership and pick up a 700,000 shekel Mercedes. All of that is what they call suffering. Craziness, guys. Craziness.